Hi, I'm Mark Willows from Clocks for Classics and I'd like to show you how we fit one of our repair kits to this Smith's RVC type tachometer. Now this tachometer is actually from a late MGB and you may have seen in some of our other videos how we fit our repair kits to the Smith's RV and RVI type of tachometers. And for those tachometers we use uh, this repair kit which we call our Easy Fit repair kit. And uh, the reason we call it Easy Fit is because it's designed to bolt on directly in replacement of the existing electronics. So it really is an easy fit. It's pre-wired and you don't need to do any soldering. So it's a very nice solution for those tachometers. But um, this board is not suitable for the RVC type tachometers like this one because the mounting holes are, are in a different orientation. And so we wanted to make a, a repair kit which was more universal. And we've designed this repair kit which we call our Unitaco repair kit. And uh, we call it the Unitaco because it's a much more universal fit. It will fit a wide range of different tachometers. And uh, really that's partly because of its small size. It's 25 by 30 millimetres. And so there's usually, it's usually easy to find a space in the case uh, to allow it to fit. And uh, as you can see, again, it's pre-wired. Uh, you can actually fit it without the need for any soldering. We've supplied some solderless connectors with it. Um, and another thing to mention uh, is the way that we calibrate it. You might just be able to see this very small calibration button on the top here. And uh, that's used to carry out the calibration. And it's a completely self-contained process. There's no need to uh, use a computer or a phone or anything like that. And we've also designed the Unitaco board to be suitable for use with a wide range of ignition systems. So it will work with contact breakers, but it will also work with most electronic ignition systems and it will work with positive or negative earth. And finally you can set it up for four, six or eight cylinder operation. So that's a little bit about the Unitaco repair kit. Uh, let's go ahead now and see how we fit it to this RVC type rev counter. So I have the tachometer here and uh, let's get started. And the first thing uh, is just to simply remove the bezel and that's in this case is very easy we just twist and line up the the slots on the back there and uh, then just remove the bezel now on some tachometers these bezels can be quite rusted on and stiff and in that case it's a matter of uh, applying some penetrating oil and very gently getting a screwdriver underneath the edge of the uh, bezel and levering around and eventually they will come through but this one's come off very easily um, the next thing we need to do is undo the screws on the back and uh, in fact it's these two screws here and, uh, and one other screw at the top here. The screw here uh, we leave in place for the moment. So I'm just going to remove those now. Okay I've removed those screws and uh, now we can just lift the tachometer out of its case and we can see the movement there. And if we just take a closer look at that movement you can see that the moving coil part of the movement is this section over here and you can see that there's two wires connected to it, a red wire here and let me just get it into position and a black wire over the other side and these are the only two uh, parts of the uh, wiring that we need to leave in place. So what I'm going to do now is just cut those wires uh, leaving as long a length in place as possible. So we've just got those two wires, the red and the black wire disconnected and everything else uh, from the old system, all the other wiring we can remove. And uh, we could leave it in place, but I'm going to remove it all because it just means that we'll have that much more room. So all this circuit board here, um, that's just fixed in place with a sticky pad. And uh, I'm just going to get a screwdriver underneath that if I can. 
There we go. I'm just going to leave that free. I'm just going to pause the video a moment while I do that and show you that when it's done. Okay, so I've removed the old electronics. I snip the wires and leave it free from its sticky pad. And uh, what I'm left with is the tachometer movement itself with the black and red wires. Now, before I go any further, I'm just going to test this movement. And uh, I want to do that for two reasons. I want to check that the movement's working okay. Uh, but I also want to just confirm that the wire colours, the red and black wire colours, are correct. So usually the red should be the positive coil wire and the black the negative coil wire. But sometimes these do get swapped round. So I've uh, snipped a bit of the insulation from the end of the wires. And I'm just going to use this AA battery here uh, to test the movement. So I'm going to connect the positive terminal of the battery to the red wire. And uh, I'm going to connect the negative uh, end of the battery to the black wire and we should see the mo needle move and we do. Um, so that confirms that the tachometer movement is working and that the wire colours are correct. Now if you find that that doesn't work just try swapping the wires round and uh, if you find that uh, it then works just make a note that the wire colours have been swapped round and um, swap them round accordingly. Uh, in the following instructions. So now that we've done that, uh, the next thing I want to look at is fixing our Uniteco board in place and we need to decide where we're going to fix it. There's obviously quite a few options. Uh, one thing we need to uh, be careful of uh, is to make sure that the calibration button, that's um, this little button here in the corner, uh, is going to be accessible for us to press when we carry out calibration. Um, so I've decided to fix the board here in place just here. Um, so the button will be here and uh, this white and orange wire you see here are going to be connected to the black and red uh, coil wires. So there's a number of ways we could fix this in place. Uh, we could use a sticky pad, we could possibly tie wrap it in place. Uh, I'm actually going to fix it in place with some hot melt glue. So I'm going to stop the video for a moment while I do that and then I'll be back shortly. So I've fixed the uh, Unitaco board in place. Uh, it fits quite nicely there. And the next thing we want to do is uh, wire the Unitaco board to the Taco coil wires. So we need to join the white wire uh, from the Unitaco board to the negative uh, taco coil wire, which would usually be the black wire. So the way we're going to do that uh, is we, we could solder them, uh, but we do supply with the kit uh, these uh, solderless, solderless uh, connectors here, and they're very simple to use. So in order to use them, uh, just make sure that the two wires ends are snipped off cleanly. Um, you don't need to strip the insulation and then it's just a matter of pushing uh, the two wires that you want to connect into the holes in the connector. There we go. Make sure the wires are pushed right to the end and then we use a pair of pliers just to press down on that button and make sure it's pressed down all the way around so the button's firmly pressed down. Uh, I'm just going to stop the video while I do that because it's difficult to hold it up and press it at the same time. But uh, they're very easy to use and they make a nice reliable connection. Okay, so I've used those solderless connectors and I've joined the white wire from the Unoteco board to the negative coil wire which is black and I've also joined the orange wire from the Uniteco board to the positive coil wire. And uh, what I've also done, if you look here, is I've used a bit of glue and I've glued the wires to the back of the dial. Um, now the reason I've done that is that if these wires are disturbed um, they will 
pull on the moving coil movement and alter the calibration and uh, that's particularly a problem when you're doing the calibration when you're pressing on the calibration button you can disturb those wires and that can mess up the calibration so I've glued those in place and uh, the other thing to mention is on these RV C type movements there is a little lever here you can see it just here and that lever uh, sets the preload on the mechanism so by moving that lever you can change the point at which the needle uh, rests and you want to adjust that um, it, it should be adjusted correctly but if not you want to adjust it so that the needle is just resting on the zero point it's just ready to come away from that point so just move it so it's just starting to come away from that point and um, if that lever is moved again it will mess up your calibration so it's not a bad idea to just use a little bit of glue and glue that in place uh, I don't know if you can see I've just put a dot of glue down down there um, obviously when you're using this the glue be careful not to get any strings of glue in, in, in the mechanism but just gluing those wires down and gluing that lever in place will stop you having any problems uh, when you come to do the calibration because if they move they can put it out um, now the only remaining wires we have to connect are these three the red the black and the blue wires from the Uniteco circuit board and these are the wires that connect to the vehicle so the red is the 12 volt supply the uh, black is the earth and the blue wire is taken to the coil for the signal for the uh, tachometer now we've got a choice here um, if we want to fit the board without having to do any soldering um, then we can do that uh, we can simply drill a hole in the back of the case uh, put a grommet in the back of the case and take these wires directly to the outside and then connect them to the vehicle using normal vehicle connectors um, so it is possible to fit the Uniteco board without having to do any soldering at all uh, however um, a way to do it slightly neater is to use the existing taco connectors and for that we do need to solder and that's what I'm going to do so if we look at the taco we can see the original uh, connectors on the on the back here and this spade connector here was the 12 volt supply uh, and this bullet connector here was the signal from the ignition coil and um, I'm going to connect the red wire and the blue wire to those two terminals so I'll be connecting the red wire onto the back of that spade terminal so I'll be connecting it let me just see if I can show you I'll be connecting it onto here uh, and I'll be connecting the blue wire onto the back of the bullet connector and then the black wire needs to be connected to the um, metal work of the case and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to connect it there's a little tab just here um, on this back plate here I'm going to connect the, the black wire onto there so I'm going to solder those wires in place and I'm going to stop the video for a moment uh, while I do that well as you can see I've soldered the wires in place so I've soldered the uh, red wire to the back of the spade terminal I've soldered the blue wire to the back of the bullet connector so that will go off to the coil on the vehicle and the black wire uh, you can see it there I've looped it round the back of the movement and I've soldered it onto this tag on the uh, back plate so that will connect to the metalwork of of the tachometer so we will be using the same connections uh, as the original um, so that really completes the installation of the Uniteco board and the next thing we need to do is calibrate it and I'll show you that on a separate video